Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another episode of the UEMA podcast. In today's episode, we'll be discussing about the night of Regaib. The first Friday night of Rejbe Sharif is called the night of Regaib. The night is called Regaib since the angels long to see this night. It is the night in which Hadrat Amina realized that she was expecting Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the mercy to all worlds, the seal of the prophets. Rasulullah said, Do not be heedless of the first Friday night of Rajab, because the angels named it Regai, wishes. When one third of the night elapses, not a single angel is left, neither in heaven nor on the earth, except that they gather around the holy Kaaba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees their situation and asks them, O oh my angels, ask me your wishes. They will reply, O oh our Rabb, our Lord, we ask you to forgive those who fast in the month of Rajab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies, I have already done that. In order to obtain the utmost benefit from this special night, Muslims should try their best to stay awake and spend the night in ibadah. The most admired mu'min. Rasulullah said, The most admired among my ummah are the following mu'mins, the believers, those who have little wealth, believers who are not distracted by love for dunya and children from worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who frequently offer nafila salah and enjoy doing it. Those who properly offer their ibadah, acts of worship to their rabb. Those who obey their rabb when they are alone, just like when they are in public. Those who do not appear much in public and not being famous. And those who have provisions just enough to live and are patient about it. After striking the ground with his hand a few times, Rasulullah continued, And they are those whose death is close. Since their involvement in worldly engagements is little, their souls depart painlessly, and who leave behind little inheritance and few people to cry for them. The ulama, the Islamic scholars who commented on this hadith al-Sharif said, Such person will pass on at ease and quickly as his engagement in worldly affairs is little and his desire to meet his rab is profound. As he does not suffer in his life, he will not suffer at his death either. In another hadith al-Sharif, Rasulullah was reported to have said, Death is a gift for a believer. Thank you all so much for listening to today's episode of the UAMA podcast. Our social media links will be in the description below. Until the next episode, Assalamu Alaikum.